Hi Tim, how's it going? Haven't seen you for ages. Ah oh, no, you know what it's like. I've been slowed under with work at uni. How's it going? Yeah, great. Sometimes a bit hard fitting it all in part-time work as well. How's your job going? Well, to tell you the truth, it isn't that good. I'm, I'm not really enjoying it. I'm having a hard time at work. Oh, why? I remember when you started, you were really excited about it. Don't get me wrong, there's parts of the um, job that I really, really like. But it's changed. The staff's pretty hostile. I'm not enjoying it at all. What have they been doing? Well, when I first came, it was quite good. They, um, they were really friendly. They set me up in a good place in the centre of the office. There was people talking to me. But I think I'm the first Muslim that's worked there, and things have changed a lot. I hear snide comments, they're nasty, they're always joking about the hijab. It's just not nice. Have you put in a complaint? I have put a complaint in, but nothing much has happened. Seriously? Have you put in a grievance? It's the company that's responsible for the behaviour of its employees. I didn't really know that much about all the policies and training, um, but I have put a grievance in, but I don't think anything's going to come of it. Oh, that's awful. The grievance is the first stage. It should make the company sit up, take notice, and take your claim a bit more seriously. It sounds like that hasn't happened. No, I think they've brushed it under the carpet. What do I do next? The first thing I would say is to get some advice from the CAB or a law centre, just to make sure you've got the most up-to-date information. You have appeal rights against the first hearing. I will do that, but I think it's going to be a waste of time. It shows you've tried all avenues. The next stage would be making an employment tribunal claim. There's a three-month time limit from the date of the incident, so it's quite strict. You've got to make sure you get it in on time. So what will happen once I've done that? Before you decide to make a claim, you should think about what you want to achieve. The process is quite long, quite draining. If I did put a complaint into the tribunal, what would happen next? Before you complete the claim, you should send the statutory questionnaire to your employer. This will ensure that everything's in the open. So after I've done that, um, making sure I'm in within the time limit, can I put a complaint into the Employment Tribunal? And is that the ET1 form? I think I've Yeah, that's right. That. Again, I'd really urge you to get advice. Is this the first step of the legal process? I'll think about that. The Tribunal decide that your claim's unreasonable or misconceived. They can order you to pay the other side's legal costs. That's why it's really important to get advice. So would it be a big court hearing in a courtroom at the Tribunal? No, no. Tribunals are usually in office-like rooms. But before that happens, your employer and ACAS will be sent a copy of your claim. Who's ACAS? They're the Advisory Conciliation and Arbitration Services. Their job is to act independently and try and get the matter sorted before it reaches the court. So there's a possibility that it can reach settlement before it goes to, to the tribunal? Yeah, that's right. How do you know all this? I'm a volunteer advisor, aren't I? I get people coming in with employment problems all the time. I've just given you a brief outline of what I know. You should pop by sometime. Yeah, I will. Anyway, looks like my turn to go in. I'll get the address details and the opening times, and I'll give you a call.